hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is telani patricia so today we're going to be doing a sleek bun tutorial kind of for those of you who would like to see that kind of content or for those of you who just want to know how i do my sleek bun and i'm gonna be using very minimal product um less time and i'm happy that you're here so let's go ahead and start this video so guys, I hope you don't mind the noise. I'm sitting by the window. I repeat this like in all my videos. <laughs> but anyway, and there's also people in the house. So you're going to hear someone walking or talking or banging the door. So I hope you're not going to mind. I had to shoot this video today before I do my hair because I'm doing my hair tomorrow. And I'm going to also shoot a video of like me braiding myself because I get so many questions of like, oh, do you braid your hair? How do you do it? Da, da, da. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And for those of you who usually doubt that I braid my hair, at least you're going to see that I actually braid my hair. And for the ones who want to learn, at least. So I'm going to show you guys the products I'm using for this video. And there's someone also cutting grass. Aki guy. So <laughs> anyway... <laughs> You guys are just gonna get used to my chaotic video. So, um, my hair is looking a mess right now. I just went to town and came back. So, don't mind. It's looking like it's been all over the place. I had to go buy some of um, the hair that I'm actually going to use to braid tomorrow. Because in town it's actually cheaper. And since I'm, I do braiding, you know, it's my side hustle. I know where to get the cheaper braid. So, I'm gonna put you guys on. So, stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna be telling you guys all the details. So, um, first I'm using this extension from my store. I'm the one who made it. It's a full human hair. So, yeah, you can go over to Boss Lady Lines. I'm going to put my name over here. I mean the name of the store over here. Where you can get this hair because I make them myself. And then, um, I'm using the, the Eco Styler. This is the Black Castor and Flaxseed. I hope you can see that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use. I'm actually still exploring Eco Styler Gel. So this is my first time using um, flaxseed. I've been using it on my clients and they like it. And I'm going to use it on me too. I've never tried it on my hair. So we're going to give it a go. Otherwise, I should use the green um, cut, um, Eco Styler, the olive oil. I really like it. And um, I'm going to use a bit of castor oil for my hair. I haven't used it for a very long time. So it's a little bit dry. And then some water. This is a spray bottle. Spray on my hair. And then on my hair too. Both of them are my hair because I bought it. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. And So I have a mirror over there. So if you see me looking aside, it's because I'm looking at my hair. I don't want to make a mess. Then you get start laughing at me in the comment section. It's like, ooh. Girl, you're a braid and you can't even put your hair straight. <laughs> Just joking. I know y'all are nice. You can't do that to me, right? Like, if I. And another disclaimer I just took out my braids yesterday. I haven't yet gone to the salon to get my hair washed. I can wash it myself, but like, I ran out of um, um, shampoo. I only have conditioner. And I want a budget for other things, so I'm just gonna go to the salon and get it washed and straightened over there instead of me doing it myself. So, another thing I've learned with my braiding work is hair gel can really make your part very crisp, so I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, so um, another thing is if you're going to do this hairstyle and you don't want to use a lot of gel or even if you want to use a lot of gel, the trick is like doing it on a like hair that is a little bit stretched because since I just taken out, um, since I just took out my braids, my hair is still a little bit stretched. It's not like 
it's not shrinking and stuff so yeah when you, so yeah the trick is doing it on stretched hair and um whether you're gonna use like you know traditional not traditional but like you know um diy methods like using a thread or whatnot for those who, those of you who don't want to use heat and um or if you want to go stretch it with like cold air or you want to get stretches at the salon whatever just a little bit stretched even if you're going to do like matutas to make it like a little bit straight so um not straight stretched yeah but that is a difference so um yeah that's um what we're going to be working with today and then and so today i'm going to the salon tomorrow morning so i don't want to keep this hairstyle on for long i'm just going to be using a little bit of gel and i'm just going to show you guys how a little bit can go a long way for those of you who want to do this hairstyle like let's say if you want to redo it tomorrow and you don't want your gel to flake and whatnot because if you use a lot of gel because if you use a lot of gel you can um get some flakes and whatnot if you don't do it properly i've never tried with a lot of gel because i'm usually scared but like yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how i do it with my minimal gel and i'm usually able to redo the hairstyle and do it today i wake up to oh i forgot to also tell you guys you're gonna need a silk or satin scarf so yeah i just got mine right now and yeah let's get started i mean we already started but anyway let's continue so um i don't like working with dry hair but at the same time you don't want to spray so much water so that your hair doesn't like shrink so i'm just gonna do that before i comb it So um, we're gonna go in with the gel before my hair starts shrinking because oh my goodness the amount of shrinkage I get oh my gosh I'm so sorry I didn't show you guys the amount of gel I put I put like this much let me show you guys I put like this much another thing is i do not have a brush so this is me also showing you guys how you can do this hairstyle without a brush for those of you who do not have brushes and all youtube tutorials be showing you that you need a brush Then I'm also just putting a bit of gel on like the side. Then just a little bit for the top. Again. <laughs> gonna go over it with just a bit of gel again I'm using very minimal if you see the amount of gel people use out there this is very minimal just so that I can brush over it Then very quickly I'm gonna go in with my scarf. <sighs> We're gonna give it like five to ten minutes. I just want it to be like properly dried. 
so sometimes i like being extra and i use two scarves so for like maximum definition so i'm gonna use my second scarf And I make the second one like a little bit like tighter than the first one. So it's been 10 minutes. So I'm just going to take this off because I want to show you guys how to do this hairstyle in like the least time possible. You know, because sometimes you'd be going to walk, running errands and stuff. So yeah, I hope it's dry. If you want and you have the time, you can leave it on for like a little bit more. But ooh, it's flat. It's flat. Can you see that? Can you see the little waves? I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Can you see the little waves? I really don't know if you guys can see that. I can see them. I have like little waves at the top here so um yeah we're gonna go um put our extension on this is not the exact same color as my hair but it's also not so far apart so it's gonna be nice I'm gonna spray it with some water because it's human hair you can um, you can do whatever you want with it so gonna spray it with some water so it also looks a little bit wet and shiny like my natural hair and then I'm gonna put a bit of oil this is castor oil just to give it more shine See how it just is so easy to manipulate like it gets poofy so fast tangles less this is not me marketing my hair but if you think it is then I am <laughs> anyway so um yeah just gonna do that with it plus it also And can you guys imagine I only used one bundle to make this extension and it has drawstrings so yeah very convenient so I'm gonna put it on my little bun And the strings are also long enough just so you can tie it and secure it as much as you want. And there you have it. There we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and probably try this out hopefully and let me know how it goes for you. I used 
eco styler if you do not remember and just a little bit of it goes a long way so it's budget friendly it's requiring very minimal effort as you saw and it's gonna save you so much time and product so make sure you try this out if you have your hair out the next time and let me know how you feel about it and you can also try out my hair <laughs> I make this um, hair extensions from my store so you can also go check them out I also have um, semi human wigs okay I just started with those but like I already have one on that so you can also look at that but so far mostly extensions and I've been wearing this extension for like a year now okay not every single day for a year but like it's still this good and I made it like a year ago so it lasts long you can already see that so yeah make sure to check out boss lady lines and also check out my instagram um account i'm gonna put the name over here it's telani patricia and you can also follow me on there so that you can participate in polls and all that fun stuff and we can get to engage more over there so i'm hoping to see you guys next time in my next video hopefully it's gonna be about me braiding my hair or yeah the other one i haven't decided yet but like yeah either that or probably nails so we're just gonna see and let me leave you guys now so i hope you have a nice evening or a day if the timing is different but like yeah see you guys next time